Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. We are off to Chiang Mai for today's daily challenge, which will see no roundabouts and busy destinations. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Okay, all destinations being busy could be good for the score, but no roundabouts is not good for the soul. Oh. Hulkamat is here. Hulkamat was indeed here first. Good morning, Hulkamat. Samurai Sam is with us as well. Saw Coffee Cafe in the chat on the starting soon screen. Samurai Sam is on a bullet train in Japan. Are you riding the Shinkansen from Mini Metro? How about that? These three pinks can come up here and swing that away. Thank you very much. The, the Nintendo theme park does seem very cool if you are a, a, a lifelong diehard Nintendo person like Samurai Sam. There will be no roundabout that kills everything. That is cool. Uh, well, that is true. It is not it is not cool, actually. We miss our roundabouts already. Uh, let's swing these yellows down this way so as to create a pathway for the greens up in there. These greens are going to make me lose my mind. Up in here. Up in here. Let's take, uh, we've got two bridges. Let's take a third bridge. We're, we're, there's a square surrounded by water, Goog. You're gonna need bridges. Also, I don't know if, uh, I think it's coming across on stream, but uh, th this visual glitch is a known thing with many motorways. I've never seen a bridge freak out this badly. This is, um. Hello, Dinosaur Polo Club. I love your video game. It's very good. Thank you for giving me a free review copy back in the day. I appreciate it. I paid it forward. I bought the game for Samurai Sam. It's your old pal, the underscore Goog. This uh, this diagonal bridge is glitching out in a way that I've, I've seen bridges glitch out before, but never this badly. <laughs> what does this? <laughs> this is a good question. Good morning, Scotty4250. Scotty has a snow day today, which means you can watch the good play. I was gonna say Goog, but then I realized that he said good. So listen, the underscore Goog is at least in theory at times, hopefully potentially underscore good. Maybe not at video games, but in life, one hopes we can assume. Let's take 30 road tiles. That'll set us up for a while in case we ever get any, you know, motorways. Motorways are a thing that we'd like to have at some point. Also, uh, one more greenhouse on this island so as to service this business would be super terrific, awesome, and great, but apparently we're not getting that. Now, uh, as uh, fortunately, I don't have a camera trained on me at the moment. If you had seen a camera trained on the underscore Goog, you would have seen that I just turned my head and looked out the window because you see, there is a chance that the uh, the snowplows are here. And if the snowplows are here already, they're gonna start blaring their horns. And if they blare their horns, that means y'all gotta get the heck out of your apartments and, you know, take care of the snow and move your cars lest you get yelled at or something. I don't want to get uh, yelled at or something, so we're not going to be doing that. Basically what I'm saying is there's a chance that the stream just kind of ends and or is delayed for 20 minutes while I have to move my car. Hopefully not. Hopefully, you know, this this, this went just fine and it went, went on YouTube right at the correct time and all that good stuff. Okay. This yellow can come down here. This uh, this yellow circle is going to get all the support in the history of the world. Thank you, Sunflare Space. The underscore Goog is at least sometimes potential. <laughs> That's basically what I said. That is what I said. Let's take a motorway. All right. Uh, we've got this pink business over here, which may wind up being uh, the beneficiary of that motorway. We've got two pink houses here, two pink houses there. You, ooh, gross. I'm not a fan of this garbage up this way. What are we gonna do with this garbage up this way, I wonder? Uh, well, what we can do is, first of all, we'll point this up here. 
Next, this green business, this greenhouse right here, can't get onto this road and there's no great way to restructure anything. So what if we just draw a silly, dinky, wavy, windy road like that? And if we draw a silly, dinky, wavy, windy road like that, and then just swing, say, a couple of greens onto it, can these two greenhouses sustain this green business? Probably not. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Probably not. But the more greens that spawn here, the more we can pull away. So now, perhaps, potentially, we can do something like that. Speaking of things like that, uh, this purple here needs to be cluster joined in such a way as to come over this way. You can just have motorway number one down into the northern entrance here. That's lovely. I foresee absolutely no difficulties with that. We get, oh, well, I was going to say one more pink house right here so that we could swoop down, save this bridge and go rescue this business. But I mean, that works, too. That definitely works, too. All right. I've got 41 road tiles. We'll take a couple traffic lights. I maybe could have uh, taken the extra road again, but it'll be fine. Uh, this thing here being yellow is mm, getting to be an annoyance, actually. We might have to do something about, well, everything. All right, let's have ourselves a think. Motorway number one is going to swoop in down to the south, actually. What we're going to do is we're going to have... Uh, now, fortunately, we don't have to be kind to all of this wood, but we can still avoid the trees. We're going to swoop down this way. We're going to have a bridge. It's going to have to be fine. These two yellows are going to go into this business. Meanwhile, this yellow will be joined by these two yellows in supporting this one. So... We get three yellows going here. We get two yellows. Nope, even better. We get three yellows going down here. These purples approach this from the south. Okay. That's starting to make a little more sense. We still have a whole bucket of yellow all over the place. Not gonna complain. Uh, you might as well swoop thusly. This light blue can just do that, except I don't have any bridges. Crap, I'm out of bridge. Well, it is Saturday night. We can probably hang on until Monday and get either a bridge or a motorway. Yeah, if we get either a bridge or a motorway, we're going to be fine. And given that there are no roundabouts, it's highly likely that we get offered a bridge or a motorway. Now, this blue did get very angry at me, but I, even with heightened traffic flow, I think running this. So. Good morning, Milko7002. Milko suggests that minimalism is a scam created by Big Small to sell more or less. You know, you're not wrong. As an aesthetic principle, hey, you know. There is definitely a minimalism industry, which sounds silly, but is 1,000% true. Now, uh, these two pink houses right here are, are actually quite nice and helpful right, friends. Thank you for the follow, Milko7002. These two pinks right here will come in that away, service that. This yellow will join this yellow on this road. This rescues us a bridge, so now we have a spare bridge, which is loverly. It also adds a fourth pink house from here going up to this circle, which is simply grand. Uh, this circle will probably become mad that it only has four houses at some point, but I got a bunch of pink here. We can do something with that, most likely. Uh, you are an annoying little yellow bastard. Fortunately, we can swing this right down here. Do 
two whole dang years, holy heck. Two whole dang years for Leah Fireheart in the Goog Troop. Thank you very much, Leah. Leah Fireheart, two years, two years of being able to drop every single one of these lovely tier one emotes, which you see right here as I hit the buttons. Huzzah. Thank you, Leah. Now, now I have to scroll up through chat because some, some jackass me just put two dozen chat man messages in there. Let's see here. All right, everybody stop. I have to catch up with things. Not you, mini zoomer ways. Okay. Coffee Cafe says, I feel like big minimalism manages to do a capitalism by encouraging throwing stuff out rather than not buying it. Yeah, okay. I can see that. Yeah, again, there there is absolutely a minimalist industry out there. It says, oh, you know, if, you, if your walls are white and your closets are austere, you'll be great and happy. Also, you need to buy this planner. You don't need to buy the planner. You never need to buy the planner. If the planner helps you, Buy the planner, but you don't need to buy the planner. All right, uh, let's see here. This blue exists, which is fine, I guess. We can have a blue that exists. I didn't vote for it, but pff, if we got the things I voted for, then never mind. Uh, these two light blues will come over here, go up that away, service that. Uh, you, uh, yeah, you can do that think and you swing out like so so we get two go up here three go off that away these might need to be reversinated at some point but that point is not this point uh, also at some point we're gonna have to deal with the fact that there's a purple circle down here I propose dealing with that now let's deal with that now shall we you purples right here can come in like so down that away, down that away. This purple will go up here. We're actually gonna murder nuke motorway number one, I think. Uh, we might need to, uh, actually we're gonna need a bridge at some point, but uh, if they share, the bridge would be nice for the local purples to service the yellow plat. So yeah, purples could grab onto this bridge right here and swing in that away. That is, uh, or I could just have these light blues share up here like share the share one bridge going here and split them at some point and then have a separate bridge for the purples. That's entirely possible as well. Incidentally, a separate bridge is a novel that they make you write in English class about a kid who breaks his leg in World War One. Not in World War One so much as set at the time of World War One. Anyway, uh, these come down here, swing out like so, go over here, go in that away. Everybody go. Uh, you come up to here. This is all going to be fine. I think we're just going to take motorway number one and repurpose it to do exactly what it had been doing just with these four purple houses right here. Uh, we're getting plenty more blues. Oh, Sam's Wi-Fi is failing him. Damn you, bullet train Wi-Fi. How can you move a great many people a great distance in a not great time and not at the same time have shit, have great internet? Boo. All right, we're over it. Uh, these yellows are going to come out this way and get ready to service this business. Hey, game, it's Monday. Can I have my bridge, please? Thank you. Now, I should absolutely take the motorway here. Listen, we're going to do the smart thing and take the motorway here. We're taking the motorway here. Don't worry. Now, uh, everything in the world is starting to fall apart, which is... Mm, wait for it. Hold on. Let me check my notes. Bad. Fuck. I knew that. All right. Let's see here. This bridge doesn't need to exist anymore. F this bridge. To hell with this bridge. It is a useless bridge. It is a Brent Lilla bridge. It's a mean shot at former Major League Baseball player Brent Lilla bridge. It's not an entirely incorrect statement, but it is a mean shot. Now then, uh, we're going to hook more yellows down this way, service this business. You five yellows are going to come over here, take care of that. That's going to be grand. That means that uh, all of this road right here needs to go away and die. We're going to take these yellows 
He, oh, I killed a tree for no good reason. Okay. These three yellows come here, service that business. That's going to be great. You, uh, one, two, three, four yellows here can take motorway number two into the northern entrance of this, servicing that that way. You, one, two, three, four yellows, can take this bridge right here into the northern entrance of that, service that thusly. Wunderbar. Next dishly, these one, two, three purples can come up this way and they will go into the northern entrance of this double plaza so as not to interact with these blue guys. Okay, I believe now that everything is servicated. Is that an accurate statement? Maybe. Everybody go. You've got stuff. You've got stuff. Uh, we've got more purples spawning here. That's fine. We've got yellows up here that are getting taken care of. You're good. You're good. Uh, you can go up that away. Okay. I think everybody's being serviced. Wonderful. Just in time for uh, some pink guys to show up and screw everything over. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you are pink down here. You can swing up that away. I mean, that seems silly and dumb, but I mean, for right now, it appears to be working, so I'm not going to complain. I might complain a little bit. I'm entitled to complain. I reserve the right to complain in the future. Uh, this yellow goes down that way. This purple goes down that way. You need to be more diagonalized. Okay. Uh, you never got any friends, so you are currently supporting this business all by your very own personal self, which seems dumb. IMO. Let's see here. You're a circle now, which mm, sucks probably. Let's take another bridge. Now, fortunately, uh, you are right here next to roughly 8,000 greenhouses. These 8,000 greenhouses can come up here, hook in that away, continue this road, and service that business. That'll be great. Next, you, you, and you form the backbone of my new purple empire. There. You go off that away, up to here. Coffee Cafe says cut, cut, you could cut the bottom three pinks right here, send them up that away, cut this road. Um, yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's pretty much exactly a, a good, smart thing to do. We just, uh, pop this, swing you down into here. That shortens this purple road rather considerably. It also means that this comes up here, that goes up there. No, we do that instead, because it's better. And now we have these four purple houses servicing this. These two pinks get uh, get into this. I called this purple, it's pink. Now Coffee Cafe called it red. There, there is no red red on the map, so yeah, this could be red. This is a light red. I can see how someone might call that red. You, by the way, need to get up over to here. I can see how someone might call that red is what a McCarthyist investigator said debating whether or not to arrest someone for communism, by the way. Now then, uh, you have gone circular, which is bad. Just, you know, again, check your notes. That's bad. So that means that we have to restructure all of this crap. Fuck. Okay, fine. You know, it's not the end of the world, actually. We'll kill that. We'll get these light blues to come up here. We do that, and then we slap a traffic light right here. It's, you know, it's a little awkward. I'm not gonna lie and tell you that it's, it's super terrific, awesome, and great or nothing, but it's probably fine. It's fine. You come down here, you go off that away. You go do this thing. Once this bridge clears out, we'll redraw it. It'll be cool. You're good. You're good. You're spawning. That's okay. 
get off of that, come up here, go in there, the three of you, service that. Did I say the three of you? I actually meant like the nine of you. Uh, because we're going to grab you three right here. We're going to toss you thusly. We're going to traffic like this. Everything's coming up. Goog house. You go in that away. You go down there like so. Kill that. Bop this. All of a sudden, we have 8,000 light blue houses servicing this one business, which is cool and good and fine. Okay. Off you go. Give me another motorway. That is a light blue up that away. Should have seen that coming. But I didn't because I'm dumb. All right. You, pinks, get off that way. The, oh, let's just kill you of you need to come with me. And you'll be in a world of I haven't seen that movie. You come down here. Swing out like so up here over there i'm sure that this light blue business will be totally fine being serviced by four light blues who are a thousand miles away and have to go through a busy neighborhood to get there i'm sure that'll be just tremendous and if it's not well that's why god invented motorways this light blue points that way that light blue points this way this circle is fine this purple is great. We've got a whole bunch of pinks here, not doing nothing. Okay. General principles check-in time. I think it might be general principles check-in time. So, up here, top left, we've got this pink, which is me. Fuck you, buddy. All right, I have eight road tiles, so I can't really... I could do something, like, stupid and fancy... And, and loop these purples up over that away or something, but yeah, effort and difficulty. So instead, we're gonna take, uh, by the way, you go up that way, thank you. We're gonna take these four right here. We're just gonna slap motorway number three on that and everything's gonna be cool. Now, uh, this purple right here, this pink it, even, is being serviced by these six houses down here. We've got cars and driveways that appears to broadly speaking be fine. This light blue is on the same road, being tended to by these four light blues way down this way. And as you can see, we have cars and driveways, and it is, broadly speaking, fine. This pink business has only two houses and is starting to run into a bit of a, a bit of a trouble problem. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's take another motorway and hold on. Now, uh, these local light blues might be able to save this bridge, you know? That's not the worst idea I've ever heard. If I had a roundabout, I could just verp the roundabout right here and boop into that away, but we don't. Instead, we're gonna have to restructure this purple road just a wee tad little bit, but it's fine. There's a quadrillion purple cars on the road. They can afford to be restructurated. Okay, you come up this way. You go here, you go there. You come like so, up this way, and then into there. That's still gonna be okay. There's still six purple houses here, and I can get fancy and steal a seventh, not to mention all of these. That's gonna be fine. More importantly, as was correctly stated, these can come down here like so. I said like so. Oh, I'm out of road. Well, I won't be in a moment. Give me a bunch of road back, please. Thank you boop you and then we bop you okay so all of these light blues come down here service that that's great that means that all of this crap all of that crap doesn't need to exist and some of it theoretically could come up here service this but this is uh, this is already totally fine so you're great and cool uh this purple business is angry which is weird because it has eight thousand houses on it but you know i don't make the rules uh, you know, we can take some of you three and re existenize you. So you go down that way into here. That's going to be cool. This pink circle is angry, which, okay, I guess I understand that. That sort of makes sense to me. Let's take every pink in the world, by which I mean these uh, eight pinks right here, 
and just motorway number four them into the north into the western entrance here so that these pinks and these pinks get together and make beautiful pink children beautiful pink children it's the title of the episode now then uh we've got you and you you come down here you swing out that way you go up here you exist fuck you why are you here nobody wants you here son of a bitch uh all right fine uh you are already angry even though you have two houses already well fine take a third house now you are angry because you haven't been touched which <laughs> is incels but you come up here I don't even have to make the jokes. I can just say the punchline. You come here, go that away, down to here, into here. That's at least gonna separate things from your face. Which okay, um, hmm, okay. Let's take this and that. And hey, you remember how I put like eight pinks on the motorway coming down here? We need to we need to unborrow like four of those. Actually, uh, we 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 need them. Come, come here, you. Uh, the four of you will hop motorway number five down that way into there. That's going to be great, I hope. Uh, you can get up here. That's cool. How's this pink circle looking? Fucked. Great. Amazing. I'm so happy with that. What can I do about that? Mm, probably nothing. Thinking nothing. The answer is most likely nothing. Okay. Listen, this is a double plaza with two circles on it in rush hour. It was inevitably going to die. Pretty much no matter what you do, that was inevitably going to die. Now then, uh, over here, hey, you know what? Uh, let's not count our dead horses just yet, because we've got this big cluster of pinks right there. We could say do this reasonable logical thing right there and once again uh, retriplicate the uh, the pinks going into this way sure fine great you are a purple circle that just went circular that's why you're a purple circle let's take 30 road tiles bash you uh, all of these purples that had previously been doing nothing must now do something such is the demands of an austerity based society I don't know uh, you come up this way, you come up that way. This yellow circle is angry. This yellow square is not terribly happy, but it's gonna be fine. It's still got like five houses on it. This yellow circle is angry. It probably counts as undersupported, come to think of it. Well, fuck. I mean, that's just bad. Let's fix it. We'll fix it by doing this and this and perhaps this. Yeah, I think I have an idea actually do think I have an idea. Behold, an idea. First, we take these five yellows here, we straight shot them into that away. That means that instead of four being hooky, there's five being bridgy, which is ever so slightly better. Now, you four yellows can replace yourselves over here into the eastern end of this clusterfuck plaza. That's the name of this plaza, by the way. It's named for John Jacob Jingleheimer clusterfuck. <sighs> Take care of that yellow circle, please. Thank you. Knock down that. Thanks a bunch. I appreciate it. Now, uh, oh, you went circular at some point. I was not paying attention when you went circular. When the hell did this thing go circular? It's a problem. I don't know what I can do about that. We'll deal with it in a moment. These light blues right here are gonna swing down this way and onto here so as to further support this, which is also circular. Uh, her boy, you know what else is circular? It's the logic I employ in this thing. Anyway, um, hmm, you're a light blue, you're in trouble. There's really not much I can do for you, which is bad. Like, uh, this light blue is angry. If I had a motorway, I could fix that, but I don't, so I can't. Uh, you, I mean, I've got these two light blues right here, but I can't really do anything to get them down that way because roundabouts don't exist. Um, we're up over 3,000. It doesn't feel like a great score, but it might be the score. Also, I've had a notepad over the chat for a long time, so hopefully nobody said nothing. <laughs> Give me a motorway. Let's fix something. Uh, what are we going to save? What What is our one and only one goal here? Uh, survival. Well, that doesn't help. Let's kill 
all of this blue road. All right, here, here's the pet project. We're going to save this business. Uh, you, you, you two, and you three can all staple yourselves onto motorway number six, which goes into the northern entrance of this double plaza, thereby salvaging this business. Does that do anything for anything else? Of course not. What are you talking about, you silly, silly person? So, now, here's the problem. Well, here's one of many problems. If I were the king of the... No. If I take these three light blues and just cut them down this road to get into here, it's not going to do anything to s what it's going to do is it's going to connect this road to this road which is going to mean that all of these blues want to help this business which is bad i don't want that now could i i mean i can't even really <sighs> okay hold on Let's think this through. Let's take this, this, and this. We can traffic light these three onto this road. That will provide a little bit of assistance for this business. And in theory, I could just kind of say, kill that and run all of these up over here. Now, granted, I don't have the bridge to do that, but... I didn't think that part through, so F? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Do I have any bridges that I can kill? Not really, like theoretically, but eh, um, definitely not actually. Matter of fact, this green is about to be in a lot of trouble, so fuck. I did just save a bunch of road, but a bunch of road is the different thing from a bridge. You come down over that way, you go down over that way, you go down. Hmm. Uh, you could slam some of the red houses onto the purple road, share it to steal the red square's motorway. So, well, hold on, this is dying. Yeah, I realized that that circle was full, and I was like, as soon as I unpause, it's just dead, so. Oh well, 3,195 feels like a pretty good score, all things considered. And we'll take top 2% in the world today. I'm okay with top 2% in the world. Samurai Sam did not compete in today's daily challenge on account of he's in Japan, which, okay, I suppose that's a good reason. But it does mean that we get a chance to drop the GG's in the chat. Now then. Let us, because I have not heard the blaring horn of the plow alarm or whatever, uh, let us bring in our very good friend, Mr. Wordle, right here, like so. Uh, it is great that we did well on the daily challenge. There is an R and a T. Okay, uh, it, it, it could be it could be robot. Thank you for the GG's Rachy Awesome. Uh, it could absolutely be robot, aside from the minor problem that it's not. Well, okay, that's that that's gonna present an issue. There's no great way around that. Uh, it could be court. Could absolutely be court. It is court. Okay, <laughs> not gonna complain. Yay, I did the wordle good. Great. Let's be rid of the uh, don't give me the answer text because listen, sometimes you're gonna need to give me the answer, such as in. Connections! All right. Now then, let's see here. Uh, range and mean are both math terms, as is mode. Uh, mean, median, and mode, these are all like, these are statistics, actually. These are not just math, but specifically statistics terms. Range is probably the best fourth of those. Got base, which is kind of mathy. Gross is a word that represents a number, but that's in solution. 
Uh, there are a lot of things here that I think solution and element go together. The, those are chemistry things more than anything else. Uh, range, yeah, and base is going to be with that too. Let's just hit this. Hooray! It's data set data. Huzzah! All right, now, uh, bond is a thing that, you know, it's like elemental things, and base is a chemistry thing. I just said the word element, so element. Now then. Oh, and solution. Yeah. This is all uh, chemistry terms. Chemistry terms. I love it when I get the heading of the category exactly the way they've worded it. I didn't intend for that, but I'm a fan of it. Now then. Uh, awful, pretty, stern. Okay, so awful, pretty, rather, and real are all like synonyms for very, right? Like, oh, he was awful mad. Oh, she's pretty cute. And that thing is real tight, yo. And yeah, that's, that's rather posh, wouldn't you say? Yes. These are all synonyms for very. Adjective intensifiers. Fuck you. They're synonyms for very. So the purple one is last. I mean, obviously, this is the connection. I just want to see if I can piece together what they mean here. So gross, king, glass, and stern. This is probably someone's first name. Like, these are all last names, and the connecting is a first name. So, I mean, David Stern was the commissioner of the NBA. Philip Glass is a... I don't know. But this is somebody's... These are all last names of someone named... Oh, nope, I was just wrong. <laughs> They're members of the Radio Hall of Fame. Okay. Good for them. Right then. Let's take a look at yesterday's Immaculate Grid. And you may not be able to see it because the text is very tiny. But starting tomorrow, it will not be yesterday's Immaculate Grid. Because starting tomorrow, the Immaculate Grid drops at 6 a.m. Eastern, meaning that starting tomorrow, we get to do today's Immaculate Grid. Yay! I'm so happy for me. Today, unfortunately, we do not get to bang Pedro in the chat because, well, there's no Pedro to remember. Pedro Martinez played for the Boston Red Sox, but he did not play for the Chicago White Sox. Hey, Nightbot. Nightbot? Oh, apparently Nightbot's having problems. Hmm. The more you know. Anyway, uh, a, a, a double Sox type person is, uh, among others, we'll say Manny Ramirez. He played for the White Sox. A lot of people don't remember that because it was toward the end of his career when he wasn't any good anymore. But, you know. A Boston Red Sox player who had 100 runs batted in in a season. Uh, that sounds like a thing Mike Greenwell would have done. Absolutely. And a Boston Red Sox player who scored 100 runs in a season. Uh, Julio Lugo is probably not right for that. He was not terribly great when he was with the Red Sox. Hmm... Trying to be just a little bit fancy with it, but I shouldn't be too, too fancy. Let's go. Nomar Garcia Para. There you go. All right. Now, the less fun ones. A Houston Astro who batted in 100 runs in a season is uh, probably Derek Bell. Mm, that might be a bit of a push. Let's just play it ultra conservative we do have a chance at an actually immaculate grid for once so we'll say that jeff bagwell drove in 100 rounds and craig biggio scored 100 those are both nice safe layup type guesses a detroit tiger who had 100 runs batted in in a season we'll say tony clark that's just a bit of a deep why is tony clark i'm sorry like, okay, I realize that he played a while ago. He was a 90s Tiger. And I realize that Miguel Cabrera exists. 
Why is Tony Clark a 0.6% cut for name a Detroit Tiger who had a good hitting season? Really? Really? Okay, I'll take the deep cut knowledge that the most famous Detroit Tiger of the 1990s, which I suppose was 30 some odd years ago, but still. Anyway, a Detroit Tiger who scored 100 runs in a season is, I don't fucking know, let's just kind of assume that Ty Cobb did it? I kind of assume that Ty Cobb did it. Ty Cobb did it! Thank God. And now, we are in trouble. <laughs> For you see, my friends, we have two guesses left and two squares, which means we actually need to try and think and care about... Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Let's name some dudes who played for the Chicago White Sox. Frank Thomas was never a Tiger nor an Astro. Jim Tomei was never a Tiger nor was he an Astro. Travis Fryman never played for the White Sox. Zach Greinke never played for the White Sox. Did he? No. No, he did not. Bartolo Colon was never a Tiger nor was he an Astro. James Shields... No, he was never a Tiger, nor was he an Astro. Damn it. Eduardo Rodriguez was a Tiger, but never played for the White Sox. Ozzie Guillen was never a Tiger, nor an Astro. Robin Ventura was? No. Joey Cora? No. Wilson Alvarez? Roberto Hernandez? Just naming Chicago White Sox from World Series Baseball 95 for the Sega Genesis. A top... Mm, gonna go ahead and say that it's a top 27 video game in uh, baseball history one of the 27 best video baseball video games there's ever been uh, if you allow for the possibility that the annual iterations of the MLB the show franchise only count for one because listen every year's edition of the MLB the show franchise is the best baseball video game there's ever been pretty much the moment it gets released it's just the way it works these days. That having been said, I need to cough. And you needed to not hear the cough, so that's nice. Now then, I still have to, uh, Jason Beret. Was Jason Beret a tiger? I don't think so. Um, was Jack McDowell a tiger? Actually, was Jack McDowell a tiger? I kind of think Jack McDowell was a tiger, but I'm not certain of that. So, problems. Let's see here. Oh boy, Mark Burley was never a tiger, nor was he an astro. Octavio, was Octavio Dotel in the White Sox bullpen? I feel like Octavio Dotel's played for the White Sox. Then again, I feel like Octavio Dotel's played for like 89 teams, and there only are 30, so that's definitely wrong. Let's see here. <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. Am I gonna say Octavio Dotel? Is that right? Was Billy Wagner. No, Billy Wagner never played for the White Sox. All right, let's get something wrong here. Octavio Dotel. Oh, I was right. And uh, judging from the cap he's wearing in his photo, I would have been right if I put him here too. Well, that's great, but also terrifying because now we're one away from an actual immaculate grid, which is rare. I usually fuck this up somehow. Um, let's think some more. Uh-oh. Okay, James Shields definitely wasn't an Astro. Justin Verlander did not play for the White Sox. Max Scherzer never played for the, has never played for the White Sox. Fernando Tatis Jr. got traded from the White Sox when he was a prospect. He never actually played for them. Um, Manny Ramirez I already used, so that's not helpful. 
Harold Baines? Oh, I'm not certain that Harold Baines was an Astro. I'm also not certain that Harold... No, Harold Baines was a White Sox. I was, I was afraid that I was confusing him with Eddie Murray, who I don't think was, but no. Yes, indeed, Sonny, we did the Wordle. We did the connections. We banged Pedro, although Nightbot didn't recognize it. Steve McDykel says Byron Mask, which you're not wrong. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Hey, Nightbot's awake. Thank you, Nightbot. Um, hmm. What in the hell? Oh, God. Uh, how sir? Am I? Zach Greinke never played for the White Sox. I have a vague, like, I can create the image of Zach Greinke in a White Sox uniform, but that doesn't mean anything for me. I can create all sorts of images. Here, I'm going to create the image of Bartolo Colon dressed up like the Philly fanatic. I have spoken it into the universe, and now it exists in my mind. <sighs> oh, God. All right. Um, oh, crap. Now, never mind. Okay. Let's... Lance Berkman was never on the White Sox. Stupid White Sox only being good for like a, a week and a half one time. Andy Pettit was never... Zach Greinke... Zach Greinke would... That would be... I, I understand that Gritty is a mascot and there's a social media and public relations team at the Philadelphia Flyers who have stumbled on gold and are desperately trying to hang on to it. But in the alternate universe where Gritty is just one person, the funniest person it could possibly be is Zach Greinke. With that having been said, I don't think that's correct. Eric Lindros never played for the White Sox or the Astros. Let's remember some Philadelphia Flyers. I think I've named every player I can think of who played for the Philadelphia Flyers, actually. Did Chris Chelios play for the Phil No. Okay. Um, shit. Mike Hampton? Is Mike Hampton on the White Sox? I don't think Mike Hampton was on the White Sox. It was a very good idea, Sonny. It was very good. I'm a big fan of Zach Greinke as Gritty. Matter of fact, Zach Greinke as Gritty is the title of the episode. So. And not just because that's a much more SEO optimated, optimized than whatever the hell it was I was going to say. Now then. We still have to think of one fucking Astro who was also on the fucking White Sox. <laughs> there are probably 380 because the Astros and White Sox have both been around for like a minute. Uh, wait. Oh my God, the most famous Houston Astro in the history of the world was also on the White Sox. No one fucking ro I get. <laughs> I really thought I really thought I had hit on something. Also, apparently there have only been 80. The most famous of which is Jose Abreu. God. All right. Baseball reference. Tell me who I missed. Players who played for the Houston Astros and Chicago White Sox. Oh, Tom Gordon. He was on both of those teams for one year. Danny Darwin, who was on the Red Sox in World Series Baseball 95 for the Sega Genesis, one of the 27 best baseball video games of all time, if you allow for the possibility that the MLB The Show series only counts once. It's a very long but very accurate title. Let's zoom in and see some of these names here. Matt Albers. Oh my God, Matt Albers. You spent eight years on the White on the Astros? Holy shit, Matt Albers. Now, granted, you only got into 35 games in those eight years because you're, you know, bad, but still. Jeff Blum, that's a that's a man that I've heard of. One season. God, none of these guys are... I thought that was said Tom Candiotti, but no. That's his non-union Mexican equivalent, John Cangelosi. 
It got, oh, Nelson, Nelson Cruz was on the, Nelson Cruz was playing baseball in 1990s. What? <laughs> that might be a different Nelson Cruz. I think that's a different Nelson Cruz. Octavio Dotel would have fit, but I already used him. Doug, oh, Carl Everett. Okay. Okay. I remember Carl Everett. That's a vague baseball player I've heard of. Uh, apparently, there was a, a relief pitcher in the 2000s or a, a position player in the 2000s who also shares a name with a king of pop whose music we don't like listening to because, well, reasons. Uh, Dallas, oh, Dallas Keuchel. Okay. Yeah, he was really good for the Astros for a long time and then tried to make a go of it. Carlos Lee. That's the one I should have thought of. This is the one I feel bad about not remembering. Carlos Lee and a little bit Scott Linebrink. And oh my God, I didn't realize that Kenny Lofton played for the Astros. All right, folks, the horn is blaring, so I must be off. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Good morning, Mini Motorways. I will be back tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock Eastern for another edition. Until then, hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.